Hi there, sign of Virgo. This is Kim here with your reading. Uh, this is going to be a next 48 hour reading. Thanks for joining me. Of course, it resonates how it resonates with you. Um, time is fluid, you know that. So let's call in your angels and your spirit guides and ask that they help us to get this through your most high. Sign of Virgo. I'm using the Urban Tarot today and we're going to clarify with the original tarot if we have to clarify might not have to what's going on with virgo well, one more shuffle and then we will cut Bottom of the deck is the Three of Wands, a really, really good card, growth. Um, your ships, waiting for your ships to come in. On this card, it says virtue. Um, you know, it's it's it, it's whatever um, good things are coming to you, basically. Good things are coming to you because of something that you've already usually done or been visualizing in your head. Ooh, okay. Man, that's that venom. <laughs> that's that venom. Shit, jeez. There you go. <laughs> My gosh, that's you. Outcome. Oh, goodness. Okay. Wow. Ooh. Wow, Virgo, um, what you got going on here? I mean, jeez, 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 jeez. You have, like, you totally lost patience with something. You want to move on. I feel like you're ready to even celebrate. Even though <laughs> you are in the midst of lies, deception, dishonesty you don't have the truth not everything is known um you're celebrating <laughs> okay so maybe we obviously don't have the whole picture here uh the tower is in reverse and that's the past energy hanged man um let, let's find out what is it that you're totally seeing clearly now so there may be deception but i don't think it's something that you can't see through so you know about that um that's the seven of cups and the death in reverse and the the world in reverse it's just something needs to wrap up i don't really know why you may be waiting for a judgment with that uh judgment card you can see clearly that, well, when it comes to rebuilding at least two, that you've been the only one putting in so much effort. And it feels like things at this point are just futile. Tired of waiting. 333 in your um, reading is extremely powerful, Virgo. You're working with some powerful energies. Tell me about the hangman in reverse. I don't think you're going to see it a different way. <laughs> I think that this energy is saying you could have it from a different perspective. <laughs> but I'm, it's like, no, I don't see it that way. I'm not seeing it that way. I'm seeing it the way I see it. Yeah, it's a something missing. Just won't have your complete happiness if you're waiting forever <sighs> oh it's something to transform that it's not transforming because you're not getting the truth 
And I can, I can clearly say you're not getting the truth, no. And that is why it's hard to see it from a different perspective because, shoot, you know, you're just dealing with what you have, right? And, but, but here's celebrating abundance. So it, it's completely abundant to you as far as this situation goes. No matter if there is lies and deception, you're still celebrating something here. It's, it's some, this can't hold you back. It really can't hold you back. You even have um, the Queen of Wands. It says the public defender here is in your environment. So if something is shady or sneaky or done like that, um, like you're, you're ready to stand up, defend here yourself. You're not going to see something a different way. Not right now. Because the truth isn't all revealed. And because you know that, that's that's what it is. So what has um what has Virgo been trying to transform or waiting to transform? Wow. It's that the outcome was the sun in reverse. Waiting to transform, you're waiting for something to be over. I feel like you're waiting for something to be over because you don't have any more energy to put into something. You see clearly what you've been through. You see clear. You also see clearly that there are some things that you're not being told that are being hidden from you. But even that, you like it's good. I've given it a shot. I've given someone a shot to. Hey, why don't you tell me your story and enlighten me? <laughs> enlighten me with that truth. And you haven't gotten it. So. To you, it's like, I'm just going to um, defend myself and celebrate what I do have. And that's like the smart thing to do. Wow. Wow. Tell me about this um, Seven of Swords energy. Tell me about the Seven of Swords energy. You have three cards that all mean withdrawing your energy from a situation. Like saying, nope, nope, give me all my energy back. It's not worth wasting it on this. <laughs> your energy is not worth wasting on that. When yet again, popping up again, Queen of Swords tried to get the truth, gave it a shot, and didn't get it. All right, tell us about the world card in reverse. Queen of Pentacles energy. Seeing clearly what you're about to celebrate. This is somebody that really doesn't need anybody else. The Queen of Pentacles energy is uh, sees very clearly that they can make it, uh, their happiness all on their own. Three plus seven, ten. Because the something that, that had your energy being drained because of these lies, because of the untruth, it was draining. And so it feels like you're going to be celebrating um, a win for something on the money front, the home front, domestic, um, can take care of my own stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's, that's what that's happening. And, and maybe that's what, Maybe that's what we're waiting on with this abundance with you, that you know, going out, celebrating. <laughs> Maybe this uh, Queen of Pentacles is representing some kind of big victory in you maintaining your own household, not needing really any um, extra anything from whatever this sun energy was uh, invested in. Now, it might be Leo, might be Sagittarius here. Um, we have Aries, too, and, and Aquarius. <sighs> and Scorpio. Virgo, I would say you're probably not feeling like yourself. But at the same time, you're celebrating a victory. You really are. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Oh, wow. Ace of Pentacles. Whatever you could, whatever was a loss to you was not um, something stable. 
this Ace of Pentacles to me is representing what you're not putting energy into anymore because it didn't give you the stability that you wanted. Um, yeah, let's get, let's get another one. Something just didn't work. Something just didn't work. This Ace of Pentacles is representing, I tried and then something didn't work. Yeah. The tower. Always waiting for news to get better. Instead, it just felt like it was always a tower. The world in reverse. All right. All work, no play. Trying to turn this thing around with your pentacles. and But it's like cutting either a person or a situation out in order to do that. Tell us about judgment in reverse. Three of ones. You got three, 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 three now. <laughs> so the three of ones is like I say, it's, it's expansion. It's growth. It's waiting for your ships to come in. You're waiting on this new, um, I feel like you're waiting on this new chapter. Some of you all could be really waiting for somebody to come in, um, from somewhere, uh, Getting what's yours. Getting what's yours. Nine of Pentacles. Some of you are being very branching out on your own entrepreneurship here. Not having to rely on a corporation's money. This is you making your own money. Tell me about the sun in reverse. Two of Cups. It's regarding a partnership that you're withdrawing from. Most certainly. Tell me about the Ace of Swords in reverse. Whoa. <laughs> Withdrawing from a commitment, making a big move. Oh, and look, and it landed like that on the floor. The star energy, Aquarius, your dreams coming true, everything. Um, good that you wanted is turning out. Uh, it, it may be that you stopped fighting for something. You dropped down your, let down your boundaries a little bit um, and changed. It feels like made a decision, a choice to change here like a path or commitment, it might be a, a big move for you, like a move, literal move. Um, but this is like, I'm not participating in this anymore. I'm going to participate in something else because why? All comes back to this because I can see something clearly now. Something I'm doing is keeping me, uh, my head on straight and I can see clearly. So just be careful if you feel like celebrating too much, <laughs> right? Oh, okay, so that's what I got for you. Virgos, it, it's not too long of a reading because it's kind of, um, it's to the point. Like your reading's very, this is it. <laughs> this is what happens, you're out. <laughs> Bye. Seven, seven, and look, you got seven, seven here and then seven, seven here. Seven, 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 seven. It's time to move on from old patterns, habits, and fears. Now is the time to walk in the direction of your biggest desires and ambitions. Now is the time to be bold and brave. I am brave. And six, I am nurturing. Uh, your heart is your gift. You're a natural born nurturer and have a great talent for helping and healing others. You are the epitome of self-sacrifice and a protector of those you love. I am nurturing. All right, that's what I've got for you all. Pay attention to signs signals attention your angels are probably wanting you to get your attention and telling you to be a little bit more observant right now it says open your eyes and listen think about everything that is happening trust your intuition and follow the guidance without any delay through meditation and prayer okay sending you light and love